In this step in the assembly of the Stratus GL, we're going to mount the wing onto the slide box, which is right here. And this is pretty simple. Um, see these tabs that stick through the top? They go into the top of the wing. Um, the important thing to do is to match up the thick ones towards the thick part of the wing uh, when you slide them in. So you just line them up and you start with the, the, uh, the, the big ones and kind of walk your way down and they should go in very nicely. And the only thing that we need to be uh, concerned about is to make sure that it's straight up and down. Um, and because of the slots and the thickness, um, it's almost impossible that they're not. But if you want to check, you can take the fin dihedral jig and you can put the slide box into that, depending on how thick of glue you have on there. And what we're looking for is that it's nice and straight across all the way right here. And if it is, we can glue it into place. Let me pull that off. And I'm going to use some super glue here. I always forget this stuff. I have to go get it. Um, I'm going to use some thin, and I'm going to wick it underneath here. Okay, and then from the top side, well, on the top side, um, just double check that, make sure that there's no, none of those little posts are sick, sticking up. If they are, you're going to have to sand them down. Uh, that means you sanded your wing too much. It's not too much. Um, it's more than I anticipated, that's all. Mine seemed pretty good. And I'm just going to put some glue in there, and that's going to wick down there and seal that off. And then I'm going to take a paper towel and wipe off any excess. I don't need any excess glue on there. Okay. It's pretty locked in place, but I need to make sure that this stays really strong. So I'm going to come with um, some thick super glue or some medium and make a fillet along that bottom edge. And get it underneath there. Just don't get any on the inside of that box. If you do, you're going to need to find some needle files to get it out. I got a little bit of excess here, so I'm going to wipe it off. And I'm going to take the Insta Set and accelerate the reaction, make it go a little faster. And wipe off the excess Insta Set, just like that. All right, I'm going to let that set up a couple, of, a couple of minutes because I don't want to slide this onto the fuselage boom quite yet. Um, I just want to make sure that there's no wet glue in there, otherwise it's going to stick to the, to the post. But in the meantime, what I can do is sand this because I want this nice and smooth so that it slides easily along. So I got some fine grit sandpaper. I'm just going to sand in a circular motion. Just sand the surface smooth. Okay, and then I want to do the the uh, the edges too, because. These also will slide into the box. It's not so critical here on the front, but you know, making it smooth takes off drag.
Okay, now this is the leading edge of the nose. And if you want, you don't have to do this, but you can round it off a little bit just to reduce a little bit of the drag on the front edge. it off a little bit. All right, so that this is probably dry now. So now at this point we got to make sure which direction is the leading edge. Remember when we built this, this is our leading edge, the, the, the more straight side. If you built yours wrong, you have to put this on backwards. Uh, but it should just slide easily along here. And if you can see mine, it feels a little tight towards the front, which means I need to sand some more on these edges. Let me get some. This is 150 grit sandpaper, so it's a little bit rougher. And these edges, you can round those off a little bit too here at this part. And that will just make it slide a little easier. surface, not so much the sides, because if you built that box square, it should be fine. All right, now that slides really smooth. Okay, now when you're sliding it forward, try not to bonk the, the edge of the wing against the corner here because you're going to smash the edge of the wing. Um, so just be careful doing that. I've been there, done that. To prevent that from happening, uh, we have these squares on the plywood. So you'll pop those out. And then we're going to take our wing, slide it forward to, until it just kisses that edge. And we're going to take a square and, and using our fingers just slide it right up against the wing. And the gr note the grain direction. The grain direction on the plywood is going the same direction as the boom of the fuselage. And slide that back. Take a little bit of thin CA glue. Just let it wick underneath. and wipe off any excess, especially right here, because we don't want a fillet right there. Okay, and I'm just going to accelerate that just a little bit. And I'll flip it over and we're going to do the same on the other side. So now if that glue's not dry and you hold it there, it's going to stick the wing there and then you got a problem. So make sure that that glue is fully cured before you slide that wing there. And then do the same on this side. And remember, when you're using super glue, you should be wearing your goggles. Safety first. Oh, that just slid on me. Now, the other issue we have is the wing sliding too far back, and it, and it could hit the, the tail if 
it slides too far back. So we're going to put another stop right here at the back end. And that's what these other little rectangles are for. And I gave you extra ones in case you lose them because they're very small. So you just need one. And where it's going to be positioned is on the flat side of the boom. It's going to go right above the hole. Because we don't want this to, to cover the hole when it slides back. So just position it like there and put a drop of CA glue along the edges. All right, so our wing is now installed. In the next video, we'll put on the, the tail surfaces and it's coming along very nicely.